The Lodi dynasty or Lodi was an Afghan dynasty that ruled the Delhi Sultanate from 1451 to 1526. It was the last dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate and was founded by Balul Khan Lodi when he replaced the Sayyid dynasty. Topic: <laughs> Balul Khan Lodi Balul Khan Lodi R. was the nephew and son-in-law of Malik Sultan Shah Lodi, the governor of Sirhind in Punjab, India and succeeded him as the governor of Sirhind during the reign of Sayyid dynasty ruler Muhammad Shah. Muhammad Shah raised him to the status of an emir. He was the most powerful of the Punjab chiefs and a vigorous leader, holding together a loose confederacy of Afghan and Turkish chiefs with his strong personality. He reduced the turbulent chiefs of the provinces to submission and infused some vigor into the government. After the last Sayyid ruler of Delhi, Allah ud Din Aalm Shah voluntarily abdicated in favor of him, Balul Khan Lodi ascended the throne of the Delhi Sultanate on 19 April 1451. The most important event of his reign was the conquest of Janpur. Balul spent most of his time in fighting against the Sharqi dynasty and ultimately annexed it. He placed his eldest surviving son Barbak on the throne of Janpur in 1486. Topic: <inaudible> Sikandar Khan Lodi. Sikandar Khan Lodi, r. 1489 to 1517, born Nizam Khan, the second son of Balul, succeeded him after his death on the 17th of July 1489 and took up the title Sikandar Shah. He was nominated by his father to succeed him and was crowned sultan on 15 July 1489. He founded Agra in 1504 and built mosques. He shifted the capital from Delhi to Agra. He abolished corn duties and patronized trade and commerce. He was a poet of repute, composing under the pen name of Gulruk. He was also patron of learning and ordered Sanskrit work in medicine to be translated into Persian. He curbed the individualistic tendencies of his Pashtun nobles and compelled them to submit their accounts to state audit. He was, thus, able to infuse vigor and discipline in the administration. His greatest achievement was the conquest and annexation of Bihar. Ibrahim <inaudible> Khan <inaudible> Lodi <inaudible> Ibrahim Khan Lodi R. the youngest son of Sikandar, was the last Lodi Sultan of Delhi. He had the qualities of an excellent warrior, but he was rash and impolitic in his decisions and actions. His attempt at royal absolutism was premature and his policy of sheer repression unaccompanied by measures to strengthen the administration and increase the military resources was sure to prove a failure. Ibrahim faced numerous rebellions and kept out the opposition for almost a decade. He was engaged in warfare with the Afghans and the Mughal Empire for most of his reign and died trying to keep the Lodi dynasty from annihilation. Ibrahim was defeated in 1526 at the Battle of Panipat. This marked the end of the Lodi dynasty and the rise of the Mughal Empire in India led by Babur R. 1526-1530. Fall of the Empire By the time Ibrahim ascended the throne, the political structure in the Lodi dynasty had dissolved due to abandoned trade routes and the depleted treasury. The Deccan was a coastal trade route, but in the late 15th century the supply lines had collapsed. The decline and eventual failure of this specific trade route resulted in cutting off supplies from the coast to the interior, where the Lodi Empire resided. The Lodi dynasty was not able to protect itself if warfare were to break out on the trade route roads, therefore, they didn't use those trade routes, thus their trade declined and so did their treasury leaving them vulnerable to internal political problems. In order to take revenge of the insults done by Ibrahim, the governor of Lahore, Daulat Khan Lodi asked the ruler of Kabul, Babur to invade his kingdom. Ibrahim Lodi was thus killed in a battle with Babur. With the death of Ibrahim Lodi, the Lodi dynasty also came to an end. Afghan factionalism 
Another problem Ibrahim faced when he ascended the throne in 1517 were the Pashtun nobles, some of whom supported Ibrahim's older brother, Jalaluddin, in taking up arms against his brother in the area in the east at Jaunpur. Ibrahim gathered military support and defeated his brother by the end of the year. After this incident, he arrested those Pashtun nobles who opposed him and appointed his own men as the new administrators. Other Pashtun nobles supported the governor of Bihar, Darya Khan, against Ibrahim. Another factor that caused uprisings against Ibrahim was his lack of an apparent successor. His own uncle, Alam Khan, betrayed Ibrahim by supporting the Mughal invader Babur. Rajput invasions and internal rebellions Rana Sangha, the Hindu Rajput leader of Mewar R. extended his kingdom, defeated the Lodi king of Delhi and was acknowledged by all the Rajput clans as the leading prince of Rajputana. Daulat Khan, the governor of Punjab region asked Babur to invade the Lodi kingdom, with the thought of taking revenge from Ibrahim Lodi. Rana Sangha also offered his support to Babur to defeat Ibrahim Lodi. <inaudible> Battle of Panipat, 1526 After being assured of the cooperation of Alam Khan and Daulat Khan, governor of the Punjab, Babur gathered his army. Upon entering the Punjab plains, Babur's chief allies, namely Langar Khan Niazi advised Babur to engage the powerful Janjwa Rajputs to join his conquest. The tribe's rebellious stance to the throne of Delhi was well known. Upon meeting their chiefs, Malik Hast Asad and Raja Sangar Khan, Babur made mention of the Janjwa's popularity as traditional rulers of their kingdom and their ancestral support for his patriarch Amir Timur during his conquest of Hind. Babur aided them in defeating their enemies, the Gakars in 1521, thus cementing their alliance. Babur employed them as generals in his campaign for Delhi, the conquest of Rana Sangha and the conquest of India. The new usage of guns allowed small armies to make large gains on enemy territory. Small parties of skirmishers who had been dispatched simply to test enemy positions and tactics, were making inroads into India. Babur, however, had survived two revolts, one in Kandahar and another in Kabul, and was careful to pacify the local population after victories, following local traditions and aiding widows and orphans. Despite both being Sunni Muslims, Babur wanted Ibrahim's power and territory. Babur and his army of 24,000 men marched to the battlefield at Pandipat armed with muskets and artillery. Ibrahim prepared for battle by gathering 100,000 men well armed but with no guns and 1,000 elephants. Ibrahim was at a disadvantage because of his outmoded infantry and internecine rivalries. Even though he had more men, he had never fought in a war against gunpowder weapons and he did not know what to do strategically. Babur pressed his advantage from the start and Ibrahim perished on the battlefield in April 1526, along with 20,000 of his men. Topic: <laughs> Accession of Babur and the Mughals. After Ibrahim's death, Babur named himself emperor over Ibrahim's territory, instead of placing Alam Khan Ibrahim's uncle on the throne. Ibrahim's death marked the end of the Lodi dynasty and led to the establishment of the Mughal Empire in India. The remaining Lodi territories were absorbed into the new Mughal Empire. Babur continued to engage in more military campaigns. Daulat Khan Lodi. In 1523, Ibrahim Lodi, Daulat Khan Lodi's sovereign, was locked in a power struggle with his relatives and minister. Daulat Khan was one of Ibrahim's chief opponents, along with the ruler's own uncle, Alam Khan also known as Allah Ud Din, who at that time was living under the protection of Sultan Muzaffar of Gujarat. There was rebellion throughout the empire. Aware of his own precarious position, Daulat Khan sent his son, Ghazi Khan Lodi, to Delhi to learn more about the state of affairs in the government. On his return, Ghazi Khan warned his father that Ibrahim Lodi was planning to remove his governorship. In response, Daulat Khan sent messengers to Babur in Kabul, offering his allegiance in exchange for assistance against the emperor. Babur agreed. <laughs> Mahmud Khan Lodi 
Ibrahim Lodi's brother, Mahmud Khan Lodi, declared himself sultan and continued to resist Mughal forces. He provided 10,000 Afghan soldiers to Rana Sangha in Battle of Kanwa. After the defeat, Mahmud Lodi fled eastwards and again posed a challenge to Babur two years later at the Battle of Gagra. See also Lodi Pashtun tribe Lodi Gardens Topic Notes Topic Further reading De Solares, Alan Mughal diplomacy in Gujarat 1533 to 1534 in Kohayas India Modern Asian Studies 22 3 454 DOI 10.1017/ seconds 026749 extension 00096161 JSTOR 312590 Subscription required help Hader, Najaf 1996. Precious Metal Flows and Currency Circulation in the Mughal Empire. Journal of the Economic and Social History of the Orient. 39 298–364. 10.1163, 1 quadrillion 568 trillion 520 billion 962 million 601,180. JSTOR 3632649. Subscription required. Help. Subramanyam, Sanjay. 2000. A Note on the Rise of Surat in the 16th Century. Journal of the Economic and Social History of the Orient. 43, 1, 23 to 33. doi 10.1163, 156852511222. JSTOR 3632771. Subscription required. Help. U. D. Din, Hamid. January to March 1962. Historians of Afghan Rule in India. Journal of the American Oriental Society. 82, 1, 44 to 51. JSTOR 595978. Subscription required. Help. Topic. External links A History of Sindh, Volume 2, translated from Persian books by Mirza Kalikbeg Fredunbeg, CHPT. 68 Coin Gallery, Lodi Dynasty